world-renowned American uh, concert pianist, author, and uh, storyteller Mona Kolobek uh, graced uh, South African stages uh, this week for limited performances. The children of Willisine Lane is uh, moving, but a hopeful story of her mother, Lisa Juras, that escaped Nazi persecution at the start of World War. Mona Golobek is playing the piano masterfully. She is able to do so freely because of the love and courage of her Austrian family. In 1938, her grandparents made a heartbreaking decision. They could send only one of their three children away from the oncoming onslaught in Europe. Their daughter, Lisa, Golobek's mother, was a gifted pianist. Securing only a single ticket on the kinder transport, 14-year-old Lisa Jura was sent to England. In her show, Golabek plays the piano while telling her mother's story of survival and ultimate triumph over hardship. I have the opportunity to spread a message through my mother's life about what does it really mean What's our purpose here on Earth? We're here to help each other. We're here to love each other. We're here to, uh, you know, to do the right things, the right moral choices. And what are the things that you hold on to in the darkest of times? In my mother's case, it was her music. So I'm the luckiest person in the world that I get to share this story. The Kinder Transports, or Children's Transport, was a mass evacuation of thousands of children from mostly Jewish families out of Europe before the war started. Lisa Jura found a home at Willesden Lane in London. Through Lisa's devotion to music, instilled by her own mother, she continued her studies. She became a concert pianist and immigrated to America, where she married a French resistance fighter that followed her. Today, their daughter, Mona Golobek fills concert halls the world over. Golobek was a guest of the Cape Town Holocaust and Genocide Center. Today, her mother's story is more relevant than ever. We are seeing a refugee crisis of unbelievable proportions since World War II. We're seeing such tragedy, such sorrow. Um, the world is in turmoil. And this story really relates to the continuing genocides, the continuing man's inhumanity to man, as well as man's humanity to man. And I think that young people have to be reminded of all of these stories and of the legacies so that they don't take it for granted. Lisa Jura's sisters survived the war, but their parents, Malka and Abram Jura, died in the Auschwitz concentration camp. She treasures the lesson she learned from the women in her life and it binds them eternally through their love of music.